Hi everybody, families, friends, and even the young children that are out there listening to this video. My name is Tamaris Darby Jr. Uh, one of the elementary schools that I went to locally that had the biggest impact on me was Global Tech Academy, and I will be attending Howard University in the fall of 2023. Um, a message that I do want to give out to you in this new year 2023 that we have, we want the youth to know that you can achieve anything, no matter where you want to be in life, no matter where you want to go in life. If you work, you can achieve it, you can have it. Black boy, black boy, celebrate the power of you. By Ali Kamamanda and Jorge Redmond and illustrated by Ken Daly. So colorful. Dear boy, black boy, rise up, it's time. It's a new day and a chance to shine. Shine like the sun, magnificent and bold. A new chapter begins, your story's untold. A story of courage that starts on this day. Courage like these men, men who paved the way. Dear boy, black boy, what do you see? That's Colin Kaepernick taking a knee. Stand up, go ahead, and dare to dream. Dream big, dear boy, like Martin Luther King. If we can dream big like MLK did, we can solve a lot of the problems that we have going on today. As you can see, Martin Luther King, he fought to end police brutality. He fought to have jobs for all. He fought to have equal pay, but most importantly, he fought to have equal rights for all. Realize your power, you're blessed with talents, like Elijah McCoy inventing over 50 patents. If you want to be an entrepreneur, Elijah McCoy is somebody whose footsteps that you can follow in. Dear boy, black boy, what do you love? Stories of Emery Malik flying high above. Let's keep it going. Tell me how you feel. Brave like William Goins, the first black Navy SEAL. I know I myself, I'm getting ready to embark on a journey in the United States military. And if there are any young children out there who won a career in the military, you can look at this young man right here, William Goins, who was the first black Navy SEAL in the United States Navy. And being a Navy SEAL in itself is not something that's very easy to accomplish. Name me a song you really like to hum. I like Sam Cooke's A Change Is Gonna Come. And if you don't know this song, you can ask your mom, your dad, or your grandma, <laughs> and I'm sure they will be happy to play it for you. It's in so many movies. So yes, many movies. Mm -hmm. Dear boy, black boy, what do you read? Chinua Achebe's poems, inspirational indeed. Show me the style of your favorite dance. Just like Arthur Mitchell, look at my stance. Break boundaries, dear boy. 
Shape your own fate. President Barack Obama became the head of state. And this, this right here is probably one of the most important parts of the book for me because I too one day want to become the president of the United States. And I know there are many more of you out there who want to become the president of the United States. So we can use Barack Obama as one of our inspirations to achieve this magnificent and wonderful goal that we have. Dear boy, black boy, what do you see? I see many faces that look like me. Yes, it's true in those faces you see, they are change makers of your history. And if you see that one day you want to make change, you be inspired by these black men to make that change. And one day you can have your face in one of these storybooks because you made history. With joy and love, this is written for you. Believe in yourself and all you can do. Dear boy, black boy, now it's your turn. Work hard and be proud of all that you earn. The future is now, it's your time to grow. Grow to inspire and your bright light will show. Time for an adventure, may your journey begin. Take a deep breath and feel your power within. Dear boy, black boy, I believe in you so. Let's start your journey. Ready, set, go. Colin Kaepernick, born November 3rd, 1987, is a civil rights activist and former football quarterback for the San Francisco 49ers of the National Football League. As a political activist, he knelt during the national anthem at the start of the NFL games in protest of brutality and racial inequality in the United States. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was a Baptist minister and activist who was awarded five honorary degrees, named Man of the Year by Time Magazine in 1963, and was the youngest man to have received the Nobel Peace Prize. He became not only the symbolic leader of black Americans during the American Civil Rights Movement, but also a world figure. Another known fact that not a lot of people know is that Martin Luther King graduated high school at age 15 and attended Morehouse College. So young scholars, I wanna tell you right now that if you have it in your heart to be smart, you have it in your heart to succeed in life, you too can graduate high school at an early age and go to college at an early age. Elijah McCoy was an inventor and engineer who received nearly 60 patents over the course of his life. While the majority of his inventions related to steam engines, he also developed design for an ironing board, a lawn sprinkler, and other machines. Emery Conrad Malik was an aviation pioneer from Pennsylvania. He received his pilot's license when he was 31 years old, making him not only the first African-American pilot, but also possibly the first known black pilot to earn an international license. William Goins is the first African-American to become a member of the Navy SEALs. After 32 years of service, he retired from the Navy as a Master Chief Petty Officer. He was awarded the Bronze Star, the Navy Commendation Medal, the Meritorious Service Medal, a Combat Action Ribbon, and the President Unit Citation. Sam Cooke was a singer, songwriter, and entrepreneur. He is commonly referred to as the King of Soul for his distinctive vocals. 
notable contributions to the genre, and high significance in popular music. Chinua Achebe was a novelist, poet, professor, and critic, and is often called the father of modern African literature. His first novel, Things Fall Apart, which I had the pleasure of reading my first year in high school, is considered his masterpiece and is the most widely read African novel in modern literature. Arthur Mitchell was a ballet dancer, choreographer, founder, and director of ballet companies. In 1955, he made his debut as the first African-American dancer with the New York City Ballet, performing in Western Symphony. In 1969, he founded a training school in the first African-American classical ballet company, the Dance Theater of Harlem. Barack Obama is a politician and attorney who served as the 44th president of the United States from 2009 to 2017. In 2009, he was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for his extraordinary efforts to strengthen international diplomacy and cooperation between people. As America's first black president, he continues to serve as an important role model and community figure. And that is the end of our story. Black boy, black boy, celebrate the power of you. <laughs>